maintain your stance. Now, what are some of the ways you can maintain your stance? You have external motivators and you have internal internal motivators. Two things. Right? So what are external motivators? External motivators are like God's promises, you know, the goals that God promised you in life. And what are internal motivators? Internal motivators are, are, are things that are identity based, you know, foundation principles, who you are in Christ, you know. Uh, and a thing to note, whilst both are important in maintaining your stance, be careful your external motivators don't become divine idols. So you might be saying, what do you mean by that, Kevin? What do you mean by that? Well, <clears throat> uh, one time I was at this church and I heard the pastor preaching. Yes, you want to go to heaven. Walk on streets of goals. Yes, it is nice. You know, it's, it is an advantage of getting into heaven that you walk on streets of goals. But be careful not to make the streets of gold a bigger priority as actually wanting to live holy and live clean for God, you know, purity. So I would say focus more on the internal motivators, which which are stuff like who you are in Christ, you know, fruits of the spirit. What are the fruits of the spirit? You know, peace, joy, kindness, self-control, long suffering, you know, those kind of stuff. You know, as opposed to like gifts of the spirit. Gifts of the spirits are stuff like, you know, miracles, healing, prophecy, all of that, um, knowledge. Yes, yeah, so if you should ask yourself, or if I should ask myself, Kevin, who are you in Christ? Yeah, you know, you play a keyboard on a Sunday or whichever day at church. But if you take for the keyboard, you know, we know say you have the gift for play a keyboard and all of that. Who are you in Christ? You know, what have you achieved in Christ? You know, and fruits of the Spirit are stuff that you should practice.